Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Shadowrun Returns, the first episode. I thought we'd have something a bit new today, did that we you know we've got about 40 odd episodes through of Fallout New Vegas, uh, we're getting to around more than halfway through Grim Fandango, so something new needs to start up to keep the channel fresh, and I thought, you know, we're not doing any sort of isometric RPGs or anything like that. To be fair, with two games, we've not got much choice, so the field is very open. And with uh, Shadowfall, uh, Shadowrun Hong Kong coming out at some point during the next year, uh, you know, nice bit of advertisement for them. And it was on sale, so uh, yeah. I'm a poor bastard, I buy things on sale. So, let's start with this epic experience. New game. Deadman Switch, that's the standard campaign. In the urban sprawl of the Seattle, Seattle Metroplex, the search for a mysterious killer sets you on a trail that leads you from the darkest slums to the city's most powerful megacores. You will need to tread carefully, enlist the aid of other runners, and master powerful forces of technology and magic in order to emerge from the shadows of Seattle unscathed. Yeah, essentially it's cyberpunk and Tolkien mashed together. It's pretty fucking awesome, based on an old pen and paper game from years back. Okay, character creations, we're going for a gentleman. Um, let me see, in terms of stats, rather fond of the elf, due to that they get plus one charisma so they can talk their way out of things and, you know, get into extra areas. Let me see, what's the blurb is, many people, especially other metahuman races, see elves most fortunate metahumans. They are more attractive and socially acceptable than, acceptable than other met, metahumans. Ugh, what's the matter with me? I can't talk today. Ugh. Elves are taller than humans, but have more slender build. Their hair is usually thicker, longer, and more luxurious than average, and their ears come to a point. I've got to go for one with the luxurious hair. So we have well, all sorts of choices. We also have humans, dwarves. Like humans get extra points at the start, point of stats. Dwarves have willpower. Orcs have good body. And the troll, body and strength. But poor charisma. People are usually racist against other metahumans, and humans are just kind of a bit uninteresting. So with the elf, we have extra quick charisma and quickness. And an added point bonus to the stat of charisma. So we have our archetypes. We have archetypes. We have street samurai, which is just like warrior. Mage does what it says on the tin. Decker, he's the hacker. Shaman, he summons. Rigger, basically like shaman, but uses robots and can co sort of cross over with Decker. And physical. Adept, which are kind of like the monk class. I'm going to try a rigger because I've never given one a go before. Let's have a look what's uh, in the old photos. What can we have here? Ooh, none of these. Jesus, it's the fashions of the new millennia. It's not a new millennium midway this through this millennia. Oh god. I sp thought these were meant to be for good looking people. I'll go for him. He looks like a douchebag, but yeah, we'll have him. Spend your karma. Is there even anywhere to put my name in yet? So yeah, karma's just a XP point, so we will more than likely want... Well, with a rigor we'll be alright, actually, but I'm going to be sticking mine in charisma, so we get fees of the etiquettes. Essentially, it's um, ways of getting through things, so in situations we'll be alright with shadow running and gang lingo and all that sort of things. So, personally I'm going to go for security, so we can talk our way through security and hope to god that works. I've played this before, I just can't fucking remember when. So yeah, we can equip C-class drones. And we're not the strongest. Like, if you're a troll, you can put it all the way up to 15. But uh, no, we're a wimpy elf, so not going to happen here. 
Alright, let's go. No, oh, fuck it, we'll have one point left. We'll choose the other e etiquette. We'll go for shadow running. In fact, we'll go for street. Okay, our shadow runner handle shall be... You guessed it, Mags. As with my previous character. Alright. Down and out. Your apartment. Three o'clock in the morning. It's got four walls, a roof, and isn't on fire. Even the cockroaches have fled in search of better accommodation. Not exactly a runner's dream pad, but right now, it's about all you have left. Running the shadows is all about feast of famine. One day you know the hot, working jobs that allow you to eat at five-star restaurants. The next, well you're here. This one's a famine, for the ages. Slag and fix it hasn't called. The money's run out, and then some. Sinless and free, free to starve in cracks of a society run by megacorps who just want your new yen. Something needs to change, and soon. Yeah, it's packed with like these insults, so rather than slagging, it's fucking... And, uh, rather than fucking, it's slagging. Sinless is like identity chips, so we've not got any ID. New yen is the currency, somehow Japanese yen has become the main one. Ah, there we go. So, here I am. Oh, there's my little drone. Oh, he's lovely, he is. A slip of paper with your bank balance. Enough to co cover you through the end of the week. Know how you feel, mate. Notebook. Calendar, contacts and that kind of thing. View my contacts. Carter, Detroit. No response. Dowd, runner. Dead. Felton Nash. Missing since February. New Larry. Runner. Dead. Sam Watts. Runner. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Probably in a gutter somewhere. Sam Goma. Runner. Dead. Half Jack. Dealer. Retired. Or dead. The list goes on. All either dead ends or just plain dead. View personal calendar. Nothing to do. Put down a notebook. God, that's a miserable day planner. Oh, someone's calling us. So yeah, this is a bit of a shithole, really. I, I don't know if that's meant to be my fridge, but it appears to have been knocked over. Right. Oh, there's the kitchen. We've got anything. Bathroom could do some work. I have a naughty lady poster. What more could a gentleman want, really? Your computer, state of the art in 2050, broken since 2051. It's a bit longer than 2051, I'm assuming. Oh, here's Sam Watts. The screen leaps to life, making you squint against its brightness. The face on the screen is laughing. It's Sam Watts. Hey, buddy. Hope I didn't catch you at a bad time. He's gi he giggles. He's drunk again, or worst. Let me see. Where have you been, Sam? I haven't heard from you in months. Another giggle. Oh, don't bother with your side of the conversation. I'm not really here. Just one reason for this vid. Someone finally geeked me. I'm dead. Probably had it coming. Oh, brilliant. I'm being bugged by telemarketers from beyond the grave. When you're an unsavory character like myself, you tend to associate with unsavory characters who often partake in unsavory business. Like you, for example. So am I dead? Nobody knows. Probably my fault. Hmm... That's an enthusiastic and optimistic way to have. I wonder where you are right now. I'm in my shit apartment. I bet you hit a big payday and you're living it high on hog somewhere. Some of us are born winners. Some of us are me. Hey, you remember that Renraku run when things went to hell and we lost Dowd? Or that makeshift saloon on the docks afterwards? Really had you back that night, didn't I? Dowd, that's a name you haven't heard in a long time. Flashback. Backing in a flash. Three years ago, a makeshift bar on the Seattle docks. The night Dowd went down. I'm going to partake in some beer. Hmm. See, we're role playing here. It's a makeshift bar. I'm having a beer. There he is. Oh, there's people from our contact list. New Larry! How are you doing? What happened to old Larry? You've been running with new Larry for about a for six months now. He's a combat mage with a bad tattoo and a bad attitude. He knew Dowd almost as well as you did. 
Dowd, never saw anybody die like that before. Idiot. He shakes his head. I hate this fragging city, Max. It's wet and the rain feels like acid and I want out of here. We wait for the money. Yeah, sure. Of course. I'll wait here all night if I have to. I don't know, Max. Sam is a good guy, and he can hold his own in a fight, but he's been hitting the bottle pretty good lately. Never on, never on a run so far, but he needs watching. He shakes his head. That run went sideways, nine ways to Sunday. Now the fixer is late. Smell funny to you? Hell yeah, it smells funny. Look at where he set the meeting. This is, this is supposed to be a public place. It's not even a barman. It's just me and my drone. Cut for Drek, Sam. We both know you and Dowd went down, and it wasn't the fixer or some other paranoid chip dream of yours. Sam smiles with a toothy smile. I've been waiting for this all night, new Larry. Something has something he wants to say, don't you, Larry? Go ahead and spill it. You are sloppy. Sloppy? I don't think I was sloppy. You've been twitching all day, son. Look at your hands. They're shaking. That true, Sam? Did you meet it, miss a beat back there? No, Mags, I didn't miss a beat. I was on my game the whole time. Remember, I was on point, and you what? Larry was supposed to cover Dowd. Something doors to him, and he leans t into new Larry, amused and dangerous. We were set up, and he knows it, don't you, Larry? What was the call you made before we hit Renraku? How come you couldn't geek that guy before he unloaded on Dowd? I've seen your fling a lightning bolt, son. He should have been burnt in toast before his gun cleared the holster. New Larry checks his watch, licks his lips, looks over your shoulders at the darkness. He's looking for someone, and it's not the fixer. Okay, I can see where this is going. You chummers are damaged. I'm out. Uh, how much do they pay you to sell us out, Larry? He stops, and, smi and a smile slowly appears on his face. Honestly, it didn't take much. Just enough to get me back to Portland and set up a cushy court job. I'm out of this racket. God damn it, you hipster. There's Sangoma. She's been relatively quiet. We've got incoming. New Larry relaxes and throws you a drek eating grin. Looks like my new Renraku friends are finally here. They're gonna take that hard drive off your corpse, buddy. We should choose our friends more carefully, Mags. Buy a drink after this. You owe me several. Fuck you, Larry. <laughs> Leave the mage, kill the others. Oh, okay, so Larry's just cast a spell at us. Turn base combat. Nah, we're too dumb to need help. Okay. My dear droney friend. How does one use drones? Follow, follow me. And... Okay, I don't know how to use drones. Okay, the drone should be following and it will probably just shoot this guy. So we've got a bit of cover there. Now to shoot New Larry in the face. Apparently it was weak. Okay. Sam Watts, shoot New Larry in the face, please. Shoot New Larry again. Now New Larry is dead. Sorry, New Larry. Now we just need to get rid of the rest of his security. Sangoma got crits, so that's all good. Oh shit, there's more of them. Okay, I really don't know how to use a drone in combat. Could you like, you know... Here drone, just kill him. Not off, I don't want him off. No! No, no, did we just turn the drone off? Oh, sh shit. Um, okay. In that case... Sam, you take that aside. And start shooting. Sangoma, you come over here. Cover us that side as well. Hey, my drone! Stop shooting my drone! God damn it! Ah, there we go. 
Okay, this is how you do it. You learn something new every day. Shoot that dude. <laughs> Jesus. Who's a good little drone? Okay. Uh... <laughs> Sam, you deal with him. Ow, I just got shot. Oh, fuck me. There's more of them. Okay, she has spells. <sighs> spells which are... Not exactly the most useful I've ever seen in my life. Oh, yes. Oh, double piss. Oh, what the hell is that? Ah, you missed. No! Okay. Shoot the mage. Shoot the mage. Ah, oh, shit, 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 shit. Reload. Thank you. Okay, now let's try this bear totem. Oh. That was surprisingly better than first anticipated. Holy fuck. Okay. Drone. Be a good boy. Shoot. Kill. 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 You didn't kill him, but you know what? Good enough. It's him dealt with. Sam, you get behind some cover and shoot at the shaman. He's a shaman, so he should be fairly soft. Bingo. Now all we need to do is make our way through this turn and we'll be fine. Just stop setting fire to my mage. Come on, come on. We can do this. Come on, Droney. You can do it, boy. Good boy. Sangoma lowers her gun. I, Sam. You okay, Sam? Sam breathing. Sam's breathing is heavy and he looks sh shaken. That was a hell of a thing. You did good. You were born for this gig, Mags. Me, not so much. I think I'm going to hang it up. Find a nice brothel somewhere. Stay drunk and croak. What about you? Uh, I'll find a safe house out of town. Lay low. Renraku has a long memory. I do too. I don't forget my friends. Aww. That's how we were besties. Flash back to the future. You stare at Sam's face on your comm link. Shake off the memory. Focus. I had your back that night, didn't I? Now I'm run asking myself, who would I care? Who would care if I die? Who would give a rat's ass? Better or worse, your name is at the top of the list. Maybe it's the only name on the list. So I set up a dead man's switch to send you this call. I got a hundred thousand new yen insurance policy, payable when you find who creased me. Alive with a conviction, or in a body bag with justification. Either works. Contact my log law firm, Rogers, Menger, and McCain when the job's done. They'll know what to do. He turns to his left. Chat! The camera swivels to show a well-dressed man sitting next to Sam. Pursuant to Mr. Watts's wishes, Rogers, Mengert, and McCain have installed a secure, dedicated phone line so you may contact us directly when the task is complete. We will then begin a verification process. 
Note that you must also be on a secure landline to access this number. We will not accept transmissions from conlinks or other devices. The camera swivels back to Sam. Sam straightens up, talks seriously. First time. Look, Max, I've led a dragged life. I've probably left a dragged corpse. I've hurt people. Hurt myself? I don't know. Maybe I just want the last word. Maybe I just want someone to give a crap if I sucked air for a while. What do you say? Oh, I'd say my schedule's pretty clear now. Hope you just said yes. I got a locator chip slotted in my head these days. If, when my heart stops, it acts, it'll activate. That's how you'll find me. See you on the slab. Rest in peace. See you in Seattle. We're going to Seattle! Dead man switch. Your plane hits the SeaTac tarmac with a jolt. Welcome to Seattle. The chilly northwest rain obscures your vision as you step onto the tarmac. Before long, you're sitting in a cramped backseat of a cab following the signal to Sam's located chip in the heart of the Redmond Barrens. Organ grinders, a legal chop shop for body parts. Whether from the living or the dead, if you've hurt bad enough for New Yen, this is a place to sell a lemon organ. It's a good enough place to dispose of an inconvenient body that make, and make a little cash on the side. The franchise is the closest thing the Baron has to a morgue. It seems that this is where Sam Watts' body has ended up. You open the door and are assaulted by the smell of death and bleach. That sounds pleasant. Okay, let's find the coroner. Let me see... News feed we can see. Hmm. What does it say? Come on, we're a bit of... A bit brevity here, folks. I have a... Breaking news. Telestrian CEO, James Telestrian. The third, to announce new Seattle Research Division sources say press conference tonight at 6 PST. Guessing that's like Pacific Standard Time. Ah, yeah. There we go. Employees only be on this for point. Fuck the police. The smell of death and decomposition washes over you, only slightly masked by the minty fresh fa fake fresh of industrial grade antiseptic. Hello? Hello? Oh, hello. Yeah, not much to see around here except for this little man, Dresden. Hovering over a recently departed is a small dwarf, dwarf whistling a tune. His broad grin says, I love my job, a little more than you'd want to expect from somebody in a chop shop trade. As you approach, he looks with a lopsided grin. There's something kindly in his eyes, though it might just be a strange reflection of chrome in the surgical tools. Sorry, didn't expect any visitors at this hour. And some asshole at corporate took my receptionist. What can I do for you, sir? Are you the coroner? I'm John Dresden, the organ grinder's branch manager here. So yes... And that makes me this franchise's area coroner too. And you are. Mags, I'm here about Sam Watts. His grin fades. And what makes you think that I know anything about that? Sam has a locator chip embedded in his skull. I followed it here. I see. Well, you're right. He's here. Not too many m people know about the murder yet, though. The press haven't caught wind of it yet. What with it being all the way out here in the Barrens. Yeah, the barons are like the shitholes of the cities. Like the slums. So, who told you he was dead? Sam's digital, digital ghost when his heart stopped. I got sent a recorded message asking me to bring his killer to justice. Guess he had a hunch. Let's not mention a hundred grand. The dwarf raises his eyebrow, a small smile wiping the suspicion from his face. A dead man switch, eh? Fascinating. I was working on him earlier. He's over here. Take me to him, my dwarfy compatriot. He's my second Emerald City Ripper victim. The third was one was downtown. Emerald City Ripper? 
Besides, not my title. That's what the Seattle press insists on calling the killer. All I know is that, like the original Jack, our Ripper knows how to handle a scalpel. But this one's even more twisted. He or she always removes an internal organ from the victim. Delicious. A trophy hunter. What was it? Watts' liver was cleanly cut out. How about the other lucky contestants? The first victim's heart was missing, and the third had a spleen removed. Ooh. Dresden, get out here. I'm here about the new Ripper victim, Sam Watts. Yeah, I know he's meant to be like a mean troll police chief, but for some reason I think the accent I'm giving him makes him sound vaguely like he's from Belfast. Hooray. Jerry Adams, police chief. This is McCloskey. McCloskey is a penis. Towering over the diminutive coroner is a homicide detective right out of central casting. If you ignore the tusks, pointed ears and Neanderthal brow, you can smell his cheap aftershave from a mile away. He's a cheerful chappy, isn't he? So, this new Ripper Vic. What? Name's familiar. Didn't his mother kill herself a while back? The coroner frowns. So you insisted at the time. He chortles. Come on, she offed herself. I had it on very good authority. Now, let's go, Dresden. Give me something to work with here. The Ripper case is my ticket to a lieutenant's badge. I've already posted everything I know. The killer stuns the target with a combination of drugs and magic, then removes a single internal organ while they're still alive. The perpetrator is most likely right-handed, with a slim hand that knows its way around the scalpel, has a decent understanding of human and metahuman not. Anatomy too. So, I'm looking for a whacked out surgeon. Not necessarily. I don't know any surgeons who still use scalpels anymore. These days it's all done with computer controlled lasers. Could be anyone from a military field surgeon to an antique medical medicine aficionado. You know damn help, dwarf. The Lone Star Detective finally notices you. You note the superhuman powers of observation. Yeah, he's a bit thick. Who the hell are you? Uh, I'm nobody who didn't near, hear nothing. That's right, and if you do hear something, I'll knock it right out of your head. He looks back to the dwarf. Dresden, get me more. I'm putting someone in a cell or a box this week, and claiming my promotion. Yeah. McCluskey's not really much help. Though he's driven, I'll give him that. Dresden looks amused. Do you always make friends that easily? I'm great at dinner parties, too. He cocks his head to one side. Be straight with me. You're either going to work for the dead man. Sam was there when I needed him. I'm going to return the favour. Fascinating. Again, Detective McCluskey. He isn't in interested in anything but Detective McCluskey. He'd convince his own mother if it meant another ten new yen a week in his paycheck. Plus, he's on the take. Dressed in pauses, considering... You have honour, after a fashion. I try to honour the dead in my work, so we have that in common. What can I do to help you? On the take? Who's holding his leash? I don't know, but someone with a major pull has been looking out for McCluskey's career, and Woollett. What was that McCluskey said about Sam's mother? The official report is she committed suicide about a year ago. Aren't you the official in this sentence? My name's on the reports, but my actual findings left some doubts. I can't say that it wasn't suicide, but there was unusual bruises on her upper arms. She didn't use a dominant hand to pull the trigger. I was told to drop it, so I dropped it. Suspicious. What are organs actually worth these days? A whole healthy body, c body can be worth a bunch of new yen, but individual organs? Not worth it as much anymore. With all the synth and cyber stuff on the market these days, organ grinders only deal in the recently deceased. There's plenty of other chop shops that aren't as picky though, and don't, don't care where the bodies came from either. Who still uses scalpels? Doctors still le learn how to use them in the first years of medical schools, as do coroners, but neither profession uses them much anymore. 
It's possible some of the slimier chop st shops still use scalpels. I suppose, but I wouldn't know where to look. I just need to know one more thing. Where was Sam killed? Dresden looks up at you intently for a moment, speaking. You know, I might be able to do you one better. Why don't you poke around these body lockers in the back and see if you find anything useful? Okay, then I'll go do that. Alright, and we just got free karma. Okay, I think we'll leave it here. That's a nice place to uh, end episode one. Hope you enjoyed that, folks. Do like, tell me if you did. Send me a message or, you know, give me little ins of if you want the storyline or series to go a certain way. Same with Fallout New Vegas. Every little view and, you know, every bit of your input makes it feel like it's more your own show. I'll live to serve, folks. Anyway, hope to catch you next time. Enjoy. See ya. Bye.